going to be potting up our plants today. And we've got three butte friends here to help me again today. I've got Justin, Laura Dana, and David. And we're going to have a lot of fun, aren't we? Yep. Yes. It's good potting up your own plant, you know, because, yeah, once you do that, it, it's, it's all yours are going to look after again. And you became very skilled at this. But what we've got here, we've got this little group. This one here is called a military fern. Now, it's not a true fern. You can't grow ferns from cuttings like I've done this. But this one here uh, grows quite well in, in uh, a pot plant for indoor purposes. And I'll just knock these out and show you. See all the roots on the bottom here? We can take that sand and peat moss and put it back into that pot. That's the stuff that we're not using there. And then we can just take these out individually. Look at this. See, each one of those have roots on. Yeah. And they can be potted up into a pot. If we left them in this pot, you know what would happen, David? They'd just get all bushed up and they wouldn't grow too well because they don't have any food in this sand and peat moss. That's why we start them off in that. So that's that lot. This one here is an interesting one. You might like to see if you can name this one, David. You know what it's called? <laughs> it's called Freckleface. <laughs> Named after you, David, I think. <laughs> it's also got another kind of name called Hypertensi Sanguinolenta, but I think we'll stick to Freckleface. What do you reckon? Yep. And you notice we laughed with David too, we didn't laugh at him. This is cuttings again. We'll take this one out and see if it's got any roots on. Oh! <laughs> Has it got any roots on? So we can take this one out one at a time again. See that? If you are putting cuttings in and they're growing too tall, all you've got to do is just nip the top out like that and all these new growths down here bush up, so you can do that. All right, let's pop one up. We don't need stones in the bottom of small pots. What we do though, and I'll show you how to do this and you can do it yourself, half fill your pot up with soil, not to the top. Why half? Half because if you fill it right to the top, you can't get your cutting in. And halfway means that now you've got room to put your cutting in there and still put the soil around it. So only halfway up the pot, fill it to the top. Notice I haven't pushed it down yet. Now you push it down gently like that, knock it on the bench, and that's the right consistency. If you push the soil down like this, it ruins the texture in your soil and you can't get the water through nice and neat. All right, how about putting up some pots? Here you go, off you go. Half of your pot up with soil. I've got a pile here in mine. What about putting a... You better have a freckle face, I think. <laughs> you can have a palia, Eliana, and you can have a, a nice palia too, I think. So easy to do. There's yours. Put yours up too. Never hurry when you're doing this because you're having fun. And smile. It's good for the plants. <laughs> I don't know whether the plants like you smiling, but I don't know. I think it's nice to smile. I always say plants sort of have feelings a bit. They don't talk. If you ever talk to a plant and it talks back to you, you've got to go straight to the doctor because you're not well. Plants never talk back. Isn't that good? It's not like people, is it? Would you like to put a one, a, a one of these ones in? Yeah, try one of those. Yeah. There's one for you too, if you like. There you are. Pop your little plants to one side, because we want to talk a little bit about watering in a minute. Yeah, you can pop one of these in if you like. There you are. Not hard, is it? And see what we've got now? We're starting to get a really good collection of plants. I'll pop that along here just for the moment. Can I pop this one along here too? You can take these home afterwards, because they're yours. When you do them too, of course, the big thing about it is if you don't get them quite, yours might be, need to go a bit deeper in the pot. Take the soil right out again. Start all over again, I think. Never sort of half do it. That's perfect. That's perfect, that one. That one of yours. Yep. Not bad, are you? Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to tell you a little bit about watering. When you water a plant, you don't give it a little bit of water. You fill it right to the top with water. Right to the top. And the idea of watering is not just that that plant wanted a drink, but what we're doing now is taking all the air from around the roots of the plant to give the plant a chance to grow. Notice the water coming out the bottom? Yes. That's what's got to happen. So when you put water into a plant, even when that starts to grow, fill it right to the top with water. All right. You might be saying to yourself, well, we haven't got any, you know, cuttings. We've got to get something else. This one here is an interesting plant. This one here is called Impatience. I've written it's named after some of our adults, don't you? <laughs> they get a bit impatient, don't they? This one here is just a little seedling box, and there's about ten in there. That one is one that's come from a seedling box just like that, and we potted it up into a little container like that. And then about, oh, I'd say ten weeks ago, we potted this one up from one of those containers. 
Isn't that magnificent? Yeah, pretty big. Isn't it? Pretty big. Now, you imagine that sitting on your porch or veranda, and that one, because it has flowers, is best grown on a porch or veranda, or it can grow quite readily in the garden. Now, we can pop those up without any worries too, just as easy as that. This one here is one of our chrysanthemums. Notice, it's only got little buds on it. That means it's going to have flowers. It's going to have a white flower. And all we do with these is the same sort of thing. We'll give you a pot each. So you can pop these up. This is fun. I like doing this, because it means then it's just sharing too. And this little plant here, we just take one little piece out like that. Oh, this is something I should be showing you too. Notice the roots are a little bit dry there. I made a mistake. I did not water this last night. It is better if I water that last night. It's not too bad, but make, make sure you water them the night before. Right, pop that one in, I think, Justin. And there's your, yours is smaller than Justin's. Doesn't mean it's not as good. Just because something's smaller doesn't mean it's not as good, does it, David? Mm -hmm. uh, you're in grade five and you're a bit small, but you're magnificent. That's how we fill it right up the top again. And you can see how easy it is. Now, when those plants start to grow, you can certainly give serious consideration to taking them to larger pots. The ones you're potting up now, the chrysanthemum, would do very well out in your garden. But what I would suggest, if you were doing those sort of things, is to put them into your uh, room, into your classroom if you're at school, and hold on to them for about a week inside, just so you get used to knowing the plant is yours. No competitions. Never say, mine's bigger than yours. That's acting like a dog sometimes. They don't do those sort of things. We don't compete with plants. We only compete with how nature makes them grow. Then we plant them out in the garden into a nice sunny position and that will have flowers right through most of the year. A lot of fun, isn't it? So don't forget you're responsible for looking after the plants if you grow them yourself. If they die, whose fault is it? Yours. Yours, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you again. Mm -hmm.